hello everybody welcome to my channel my name's Jane and today I've got your home bargains haul um, my channel is mainly shopping hauls some yoga some crafty DIYs and just lifestyle content really so if that's the kind of thing you'd like to see I'd appreciate if you could click the subscribe button and maybe click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video um, but yeah, today's is a home bargains haul. So I've been to home bargains, got lots of stuff. I've already unpacked it so you don't have to listen to all the bags crinkling. Um, so we'll get right into it. Keep watching. So first of all, we've got some Volvic orange juice drinks. Picked a couple of these up and they're just the Volvic juicy orange drinks for my boys to take to school. I think they're about 39p because you know they're not allowed lucasades fizzy drinks or anything so they just take a couple of these for lunch time break time um i've got some pepsi max for my other son to take to work because he takes quite a few drinks to work um to last him through the day so we've got some pepsi max and i think they're about 69p something like that it's a lot cheaper than when you buy them in the other shops anyway We've also got some of this long grain rice that you can just microwave for two minutes. These are quite nice for quick teas through the week or, you know, just for a snack with something else, really. So I'm not sure how much they was. I think it was about 59p, but they're not very expensive. I usually pick a couple of those up whenever I'm in. I also got some of these um, dishwashing sponges, um, Power Action. And the pink ones are non scratch. They're a bit softer than some of the other ones. I don't know if the green ones are harder and they do a different job, but the pink ones are nice. They're not too hard. Non scratch sponge scourers. They was only cheap, about 39p, something like that. Also picked up a Curex hand wash. This is a massive one and it's about, let me see, 500 mils. And it's the Curing Macadamia Oil, which I love this one. I always go through a lot of hand wash and I only use the Curex because it's just really nice on your hands. I always get like really dry chapped hands. I wash them a lot and this doesn't seem to make them as bad. So I stick to Curex. Sometimes use palm olive because that's quite nice. But yeah, I don't mix up the hand washes because I find this works best. So that is lovely macadamia oil antibacterial does smell really nice as well next i got some skinny whips so i got the peanut butter um skinny crunch so there's five in there seven less than 75 calories high in fiber and i also picked up the chocolate peanut ones the skinny dreams and they're less than 99 calories so they're nice nice just to have in case you want a little snack after your lunch or something i think they was 99p i also got these um chocolate fudge brownies because my boy has these every day <laughs> he loves chocolate brownies of any kind so um we go through quite a few boxes of these and there's five in that box and again they're the fiber to go things fiber one 90 calories so he goes through lots of them. I think there's only Alex eats them in our house. It was 129. Um, I also picked up some swingy bin liners, 20 tie handle ones for 79p. Just like it says, swingy bin liners. Nothing exciting about them, is there? But we need them. Picked up some extra chewies. These are the cool breeze ones. I always pick this one up. And there's three packs and they're just a pound. Get them quite often. Next, I picked up this um, foam burst energizing foam body wash. And it's the bergamot and sea minerals. I've not tried that one, but it looks nice. And I think it was 199. Do you like the foaming shower washes? So give that one a try. It's Imperial Leather. Um, does look nice so try that i picked up three face cloths because i do like to keep refreshing my face washes i've got two white ones and they're really thick thick good quality ones them 69p it was down the section where all the towels are 
um, home collection, 100% cotton, super soft. So I've got two white ones. They are super thick, them ones. You should get some in the late paper thin. And I've got a dark blue one in case one of the boys wanted a, a new one. All 69p. I also picked up this Instant Nails white, um, what do you call it? It's like a silicone, but it's not. I think it's like more of a glue. High strength, solvent free, multi-use adhesive, high strength, quick grab, gap filling. Used to fix skirting boards, dado rails, door surrounds, wall panels, framework and much more. Well, I've bought it because um, we used to have a shower screen which got smashed because somebody pushed it too far back into the tiles. So we've just replaced it with a shower curtain and the shower rail where the curtain hangs just keeps falling down. Doesn't matter what we do to stick it up. It's one of them where you pull it and then it sort of, the suction keeps it to the wall. Well, it just doesn't stay up. Every day it falls down, you hear this clanking noise and then <laughs> the shower curtains on the floor. So I said, oh, this is no good, this. We're gonna have to stick the actual shower pole up to keep it up. So we're gonna use this to stick the shower curtain up, the pole thing. Um, probably never get it back down again, but you know, <laughs> won't have the same disaster every night when you need a shower. I think that was 179 or something. They are quite handy though, aren't they? In case, you know, like the skirting boards or whatever just start coming away. Um, I was only looking at my living room the other day and you know when you're like looking around the house and seeing if you need to decorate yeah I was looking at my living room thinking this needs decorating looking at my bathroom thinking oh this could do with a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of few jobs doing it's just never ending isn't it so you know don't know we're not we're not going there just yet I also picked up the pink stuff Miracle cleaning paste. I've heard raving reviews about this. Never tried it. And it's a huge tub. New, bigger tub. And it's from Star Drops. What will you use it for? It says on the packet. Hmm. It says you can use it for trainers, saucepans, cooktops, sinks, garden furniture, ceramic tiles, glass, paintwork. The list is endless. So yeah, I'm going to give that a go. Quite fancy that idea. It's supposed to be really good. I think that was about 150 for the big one. I've lost my receipt again, so I'm a bit useless with that. But yeah, fancy that. I also picked up these Jasmine and Orange Blossom Bio Liquid Capsules. You know, like washing machine thingies, capsules. Two in one with fabric conditioner. I saw these on somebody else's channel and she was raving about them saying how nice they were so I usually pick up bold or surf so I thought I'd try these for a change it was only about I think these were 99 or something like that and in this packet there's 20 20 in there so I'm hoping they're nice there was a blue packet as well but I thought I'd go stick with the pink uh, brilliant cleaning freshness and softness so I'm going to give those a try let you know what they're like I also picked up this I've not seen before and it's called new thing pink shimmer shave and shower sorbet so I think it's like a shaving gel that you can use in the shower might be a bit like a, a shower gel mixed kind of shaving gel watermelon and strawberry scent vegan friendly I've not opened it so oh, it's got one of them thingies on let's have a look I think it might have sparkly bits in it because see Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's got loads of glitter in, as you can see. Looks quite nice. It smells quite fruity. Smooth and cleansed, fruity fresh scent, glittery goodness for sensitive skin. Mm. And it's available in three different scents, watermelon and strawberry, pineapple and coconut and passion fruit and blueberry. Multitask your day without shaving irritation whilst our skin kind formula delicately cleanses. So you, yeah, it's like a shower gel with shaving foam mixed together. Give that a go. That was a 99p. 
which we've got in. So that's all right. We also got some Lenore crease release. This is the Summer Breeze. And I do use it for the clothes, you know, when you when you dry them in the house on the, the Maiden or whatever. Um, so give them a spray on there, just hang them up. And sometimes I'll even spray the curtains, spray the headboard, you know, give everything a nice little bit of a smelly spray. Actually, it's quite good on the curtains, you know, because obviously you don't wash them all the time, do you? But just nice to give them a bit of a fresh with this. I know it's meant for washing, but, you know, I'm sure it's got other uses. It smells nice anyway. I think they only had this and the blue one, which is the Spring Awakening one. That was 2 99 I think. I also got a dry shampoo. The Got To Be one from Swartzkopf. Dry shampoo. I've not seen this tin before. And it is extra fresh, clean and crisp. Um, looks like a lemony one. I'm going to smell it. I was in the shop and there was this and a peach one that was like a floral bouquet one. Well, that smells nice. Nice, fresh, clean smell. A bit like apples, lemons, that kind of thing. We sprayed the pink one in the shop. You know, you squirt it in the lid. And I, I said to my daughter, well, which one do you think, the peach one or the green one? And there was a lady stood behind smelling both of them as well. And she went to put the peach one in a basket. And then just as my daughter went, oh, go for the green one. The peach one's more old lady smell. Well, she put it back on the shelf and swapped for the green one. <laughs> so I think we talked her out to get in the peach one. Um, but yeah, out of the two, this one smells more fresh and, you know, clean smelling. I do like a dry shampoo in case you don't want to wash your hair every day. I think that was about one forty nine, something like that. I also picked up Andrew some socks. He actually hates novelty socks. He goes mad if he sees a grown man wearing like dead sad socks. <laughs> so I just had to buy him these my lucky socks um, with the winky face at the top. It was only a pound and I just, I just thought it was quite fun size 7 to 11s so I'll pop them in his sock drawer and see what he says when he finds them <laughs> um, I picked up one of these which is a dehumidifier now I've seen loads of people ranting on about these saying how good they are this one's a lavender smell draws in moisture from surrounding atmosphere and absorbs up to three times its own weight in water I've got one in my kitchen like a big one like um, one you plug in I've never tried these little ones with the the beads, what's inside it? Some little beady things are inside it to draw the moisture in, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that in one of the bedrooms to see if any water comes into it. We will see. Give it a go. So I think it was only like 79p or something like that. So yeah, if they work, that's, that's a winner, isn't it? I also got a makeup brush, one of these Olivia Hale I think it's yeah contour brush one of the fluffy ones I do like the color nice gold and black it's got a nice fluffy top just needed a new one of them i think that was 199 or something like that i keep thinking i'll do a get ready with me uh, video but my makeup skills are pretty basic <laughs> um yeah so that's that i also picked up this um rubik's keychain twist and this was a pound now my son is a bit of a fidget and he's um I think he needs something to occupy his hands to kind of like you know keep him out of a bit of mischief. He's always getting told off at school for being a bit of a you know a bit of a jack the lad. So I thought to myself, if he keeps this in his pocket at school and just sort of fiddles with it when he's feeling a little bit like causing some trouble <laughs> It's not gonna work, is it? Let's be honest. But it was only a pound and I thought, you know what, it's worth a go. Um, teenage boys, do you know what, it's hard work. So yeah, Rubik's keychain twist. I'm hoping this is going to bring me a miracle before I get told off again at school. So yeah, let you go. I'll let you know about that. I also found this lovely glass jar and it's that B range, Botanical Discoveries. It's got a lovely little bee charm hanging off there and some rattan cord. That was one forty nine, and I thought I could just put that in the kitchen with some nice tulips or something on the windowsill. Do you like some nice fresh flowers in spring, summer? So I do like that. 
might get a couple of them actually put them around the house oh that was a really good bargain for 149 i didn't know whether to paint it and you know like decoup what's it called decoupage it um but we'll see depends how much time i've got I do you like that though one pound 49 and the bee charms they're cute as you can see so that's that i also picked up this little simple hydrating eye gel it's actually the brand simple not just simple and it's 99p and it's just a water boost helps awaken deep off and relieve screen stressed eyes i do stir at a computer all day and it's just like a watery gel i don't think it's like amazing to use i've used it a few times since i bought it through the week it's just like gives your eyes a bit of hydration i think just in case they're feeling a bit dry just a watery gel 25 mils um it don't work miracles but you know for a pound what can you do that's that i picked up one of these for breeze plug-in things for the porch because i did have one in the porch and then i moved it into the living room because I'm just paranoid that I have like dog smells in the house. So this one's the lilac and violet one. Um, and I think it was 2 dollars for that. These are brilliant, you know. If you've not tried these, they really do give off some nice scent. It's not like you can't smell it. Um, there's three different fragrances in the back and they alternate which one goes off. And you can put it on as high or as low as you want for how many times you want it to puff. I do like them. I've got the green one, the greeny blue one. That's nice. I've not tried this, so I'm going to give that a bash. Two ninety nine. If I've not broken. I also picked up some of these food storage boxes by Wham. I can't remember how much they were. I think there was one ninety nine. They're fairly big, and I just bought them to put my treats in in the cupboard. You know, like the skinny whips and the Belvitas, so I don't have to keep all the cardboard boxes in the kitchen cupboard. Because I do like everything nicely stacked away. And all the cardboard boxes just don't look that nice, do they? So I've got three of them just to put all the little bits in in the kitchen. Snack cupboard. And they had a different colour. Was it beige? Was it grey? I don't know. There was two colours anyway. Oh, I think we chilled back here. The last thing I bought was some bath bombs. I do like some bath bombs in the bathroom. I got this Radox one, blueberries. That's nice. I do like the blueberry smell. Oh, it smells nice. They had a pink one as well. I think it was raspberry, but I just got the blue one for a pound. And I saw these, you know, the Swizzles lolly ones, the drumsticks, the squashies. This one's the bubblegum one. So it's pink and blue at the top, like the sweets. I don't know if it was one pound or one forty nine. Can't smell it in the packet. Um, yeah, bath fizzers. They look nice, don't they? I'm going to do a little um, section where I put like a, a bowl out with them all in. So you can just pick one when you go in the bathroom. Because I know the boys will use them. They'll pretend they're not interested, but they will. Um, this one is the Squashies Original Raspberry and Milk, which is pink and white. I think it was one forty nine, but, you know, might be wrong. And the other one I picked up was this rainbow one. It's like a cloud called rainbow trail bath fizzer nice cute package and underneath it shows you what colors it's going to come out in when you put it in the bath i think that was 149 that one but i do like it and i love it when you see all the rainbow colors coming out <laughs> so yeah that was my little home bargain shop um i think that's everything i usually find something after i finish my video um but that was my home bargains haul this week i'm always in home bargains so probably have another one soon um, I've actually got a week off work, which I can't wait for. Just twist myself about. Yeah, I've got a week off work after this week, so I'm really excited. Hoping to go to one of the big Primarks near me. See what I can pick up in there. I'm going to do my cupcake video, which I've been promising. Even if it's a disaster. You know, keep you entertained. But that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a big thumbs up at the end. Uh, leave me a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like and hit the subscribe button that would really help me out a lot uh, but other than that thanks for watching see you again bye